Good evening. You may have noticed it last Sunday, August 21, on the 39th anniversary of the assassination of opposition leader Ninoy Aquino. There was an organized campaign to demean him, degrade or deny his ultimate sacrifice, or fabricate falsehoods about him and his consequential decision to return home in 1983. It was a loud and wide campaign. And its purpose was to sow seeds of doubt about Ninoy, the man whose brutal killing shocked the nation into awareness about the true nature of the Marcos dictatorship. Did it succeed? It is still too early to tell. But history's denialists are just getting started. And if you deny history, you attack the public square itself. I'm John Neri, and you are in that public square. The campaign to demote Ninoy Aquino from hero to zero, to use the catchy phrase Hollywood made popular in another context, was not unexpected. Aquino's assassination was the turning point that led about a thousand days later to the ouster of the Marcoses. Now that Ferdinand Marcos Jr. is president, what happens to the national holiday that marks that turning point? As we saw last Sunday, this is what happens. Official silence from the presidential palace and an organized campaign to change history. To resist that campaign, we can push back against the denialists. To fight back against that silence, we can intervene in the discussion to define the true meaning of heroism. Tonight, I'm delighted to say that we are joined by an eminent historian and nationalist who can help answer our questions about history and heroism. Dr. Francis Alvarez Guialogo is a professor of history at Ateneo de Manila University, a former commissioner of the National Historical Commission of the Philippines, and the lead convener of Tanggol Kasaysayan, an alliance of defenders of history. Good evening, Professor Dialogo. Thank you for joining us today in the public square. Sir John, uh, good evening to the audience and the public. Doc Francis, let me start by asking you, is it possible for a national history to exist without heroes? Does a national history require heroes? I, I think it's um, almost a part of the narrative that heroism is uh, um, an integral portion of nation construction. Kahit uh, sa wika natin, kung titignan natin, the very, the very uh, root word uh, of bayani is bayan. How can we have a nation without uh, a, a hero and the, the the hero is actually defined by by uh, the nation itself so these are two integral and interrelated constructs that actually define the very fabric of uh, modern societies modern national communities if you will so how does the philippines choose its heroes and can we compare the way we choose our heroes to, let's say, another uh, polity? Yeah, um, there there are many ways, no, in um, in the in various contexts internationally in, in choosing a, a hero. In in other countries, they do not uh, uh, determine or um, uh, assign a particular personality to uh, that. Uh, position of a national hero. At times, they they uh, 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 ascribe uh, that title to a group of people, a, a collective uh, community, or um, sometimes even you know um, individuals of prominence that contributed to the very definition of what a nation and a society. Uh, 
was and is no in 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 that particular sense even non political uh, personalities uh, were considered as equally important um, in in the de very definition of a national hero i can take for example the the regard of the germans to githy the spaniards mm -hmm. to cervantes mm -hmm. uh, the the britons of course to shakespeare uh, these were men of uh, prominence that contributed significantly to uh, the definition of uh, what uh, a national community is all about. No? And we also have the, uh, uh, parallel examples like Francisco Balagtas, no, uh, mm -hmm. contributed significantly to the very definition of um, uh, a hero uh, and a nation uh, at the same time. No? So even cultural and literary figures, no, uh, uh, prominent individuals who contributed to the economy, for example, or mm -hmm. uh, to um, the construction of communities and, and uh, social structures in society. Um, but in the Philippines, if we go by the official book, um, mm -hmm. um, we we tend to look at the nation state, you know, particularly uh, state institutions, mm -hmm. as the one with the capability, uh, uh, the organization to define and determine uh, um, a national hero through the proclamations of um, uh, the, by the executive by way of uh, legislation by the, uh, by the legislature. Um, so we have uh, national holidays that define uh, the significance and importance of specific individuals you know, like mm -hmm. Inoy Aquino, Andres Bonifacio, and Jose Rizal. Mm -hmm. Or at the same time, we also have local uh, celebrations you know, um, determining and uh, defining the significance of individuals to a particular locality like we often commemorate uh, august 19 as significant in quezon city and quezon province mm -hmm. it's manuel L. quezon day of course manuel L. quezon um had a historical impact beyond quezon city and beyond uh, quezon mm -hmm. province mm -hmm. so mga ganun, no? iba iba yung pamantayan din Gusto, gusto ko yung uh, binuksan mo yung diskusyon, ano, uh, Doc Francis. Uh, looking at the example of uh, other countries, for instance, uh, yung definition ng hero can include cultural figures like Shakespeare or uh, Cervantes. Yes, yes. Uh, tapos yung our own tradition, uh, local uh, traditions, um, we have local heroes no? uh, that are celebrated in respective regions. Pero balikan natin sila, no? Uh, right now, I just want to focus on yung sinabi mo nga, no? Yung essentially the political heroes, no? The ones that help uh, define the nation state or the nation state itself defines. Uh, like Rizal or Bonifacio, no? Meron nga bang batas na nagsasabi na Rizal is our national hero? Um, technically, wala. No, uh, mm -hmm. pero meron tayong uh, Rizal Day. Right. At uh, kung titignan natin yung National Heroes Day ay hindi kaugnay mm -hmm. uh, kay Rizal, no? Mas may kaugnay pa nga ito uh, sa Katipunan at kay That's Andres right. Bonifacio, no? So mm -hmm. yung uling uh, uh, weekend na malapit sa August 26, yung sinasabing mm -hmm. sigaw sa Pugadlawin. Uh, yun yung tinuturing. No? Ibig sabihin, um, we take uh, uh, much significance as well and, and consideration due regard to uh, the revolutionary tradition in nation mm -hmm. formation. Uh, so more often than not, we, we, if we have a, a listing of national heroes, uh, most probably this listing uh, are connected with uh, the Philippine Revolution of 1896 to 1898. No? And then afterwards, the political leaders, no? you have uh, Quezon down the line, no? the, the mm -hmm. 
majority of the post-war presidents. The other thing that somehow uh, contributed to uh, the uh, consideration of individuals as national heroes or uh, individuals of national prominence are, are the uh, the representations of images no in mm -hmm. popular materials no even in currencies diba sabi nga nila uh, nagpapalit-palit ang pera pero yung mga bayani ganoon din no? uh, nagpapalit-palitan din sometimes uh, because of uh, demonetization or devaluation some of our previously considered national heroes or heroines if you will uh, were no longer uh, in the popular consciousness because na devalue yung uh, pera nila. Um, mm -hmm. Hindi ko alam kung um, yung nakikinig sa atin buhay pa, but previously when we had uh, many uh, coins in circulation, mm -hmm. we had Handang Sora, uh, Del Pilar, diba? even Lapu-Lapu, uh, mm -hmm. pero wala na yan. Or nagsiksikan halimbawa si Bonifacio and Mabini at one time in 10 pesos and then yun nga, uh, Bonifacio and Aguinaldo as well in in 5 pesos. So nagpabago rin yan. Ano? The way we uh, make these uh, iconographic representations in popular materials like peso bills, currency bills or coins. Pero ang, ang pinupunto ko, uh, Doc Francis, no? thank you for that explanation. Wala tayong master list of heroes, di ba? Parang, kumbaga, kung sasabihin mo, we have a hall of heroes, a pantheon of heroes, nag, in a way, nagpapalit yung laman. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Generation to generation. Tama, tama po ba? Yes, uh, but uh, legislations supposedly should be uh, carried forward until and unless a, a new uh, law uh, replacing a, a, a previous law declaring uh, a national holiday or a national hero was uh, put forward. Uh, so, halimbawa, uh, andyan yung Rizal Day, Bonifacio Day, or Ninoy Aquino Day until and unless may bagong batas. No? Uh, o kaya nadadagdaga, no? Uh, before 2004, hindi naman national holiday yung uh, August 21, but it became a national holiday, and therefore the recognition that uh, yeah. it's uh, the the life and and the contribution of uh, Ninoy Aquino should be remembered uh, nationwide based on the law. Pero parang nangyari, uh, the, the legislation. Uh, the official issuances about the holidays. Ang, ang, parang ang lumalabas, ang, ang dating sa akin, Doc Francis, is um, parang perifer it, it assumes that these are heroes already. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, that's why we're having uh, August 21 as a holiday or November 30 and so on, or December 30, because we've already assumed, parang may, may pagtanggap na Oo. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Tama yun. Paano tinatanggap? Ng taong bayan ba o ng gobyerno? Yung isang tao uh, as bayani. Sige. Uh, kung minsan, uh, yung legislation, uh, nagre-react lamang siya no? doon sa uh, uh, nangyayari sa lipuna. No? So, if... Uh, there is a perceived general consensus among the members of society with regard to the consideration of individuals as mm -hmm. national heroes, then maglalegislate sila. You know? Or sometimes naman, um, in the case of uh, Rizal, uh, the declaration of uh, Rizal Day as a national holiday actually came after the formation of Rizal Province, the declaration mm -hmm. of... Uh, uh, many other things no, related with uh, the recognition of Rizal. Pero ang, ang mahalaga dito, uh, kaya nga yung, yung sinasabi ko rin, it's very important to highlight uh, popular regard, no, the regard of uh, the, the national community to a particular individual or groups of individuals as to you know, how uh, should a, a, an individual uh, should be considered as a um, national hero. 
So sumusunod lang yung yung pagsasabatas mm -hmm. over dito. Uh, Doc Francis, before I ask my next question, uh, I'm not sure if your uh, messenger or another app is on. Uh, is it possible for you to mute it? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was sorry. <laughs> Medyo lotek ako. I was also looking at uh, my gadgets. <laughs> Pasensya na talaga. Uh, uh, digital, uh, technologically challenged tayo. I, I, uh, I turned off my messenger and my other. Hindi ko alam well, bakit. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, uh, Doc Francis, um, I'm Balikan ko yung sinabi mo about local heroes. Ano? Tapos may sinabi ka rin na part of the array of recognition that the nation state can offer is yung mga signs, mga memorials. No? Mm -hmm. uh, a few years ago, uh, there was something honoring uh, Luis Taruk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, would we consider uh, Taruk as a local hero? Uh, especially for his role uh, as uh, uh, the, the chief of the Hukbalaha. Uh, in other words, for his heroism during World War II. Um, how, how, how should we approach, how should we understand the heroism of Luis Taruk? I think, well, uh, Luis Taruk should uh, be um, evaluated um, and analyzed not only by historians but by the general community in mm -hmm. terms of his individual contribution to society mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the general public. No? Of course, controversial yung kay uh, Luis Taruk because on the one hand, uh, he uh, contributed significantly to the anti-Japanese resistance movement mm -hmm. and its successes in uh, liberating uh, communities, not only in Central Luzon, no, but in other mm -hmm. regions as well. But also, uh, equally controversial uh, was his role with the post-war uh, communist movement. No? Um, That's right. Not all people are in agreement with the ideology and the tactics and the strategies that he carried forward in um, pursuing um, a, a specific platform or program of government. So that became equally controversial. Pero hindi lang, again, no, um, hindi lang si Luis Taruk naman yan. No? Maraming equally controversial personalities in, in our history uh, who, who, uh, whose role in, in nation building should also be re-evaluated and re-analyzed. No? Pedro Paterno, uh, mm -hmm. Trinidad Mano de Tavera, no? uh, mm -hmm. or even um, Benigno Ramos, no? Artemio Ricarte. Uh, mm -hmm. They were definitely nationalists in, in various levels, yeah. uh, but they also did some very controversial uh, actions no? uh, that put off a lot of people uh, with regard to the consideration on whether they should be regarded as heroes or not. No? Uh, so, bukas talaga ito doon sa iba-ibang interpretasyon. No? Uh, I'm, I'm really fascinated by the fact that you, if, if you were to put our heroes, yung mga acknowledged heroes, ano? Rizal, Bonifacio, Mabini, uh, in one room, hindi sila magkakasundo. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Diba? In fact, uh, uh -oh. Francis, uh, you, you, uh, you did uh, research uh, into Kaor Yang, no? Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. Jesus, no? the widow of uh, Bonifacio. I, I remember that um, she had some scathing things to say about Mabini. Uh, yeah. And, and Mabini's uh, inaction or uh, responsibility for the assassination mm -hmm. of uh, Antonio Luna, for instance. Yes, but, yes, yes. Uh, meron pa siyang binanggit na kwento na bumisita si Bonifacio at saka si Emilio Jacinto kay Mabini uh, mm -hmm. tapos umuwi sila na parang parang yabang ni Mabini parang ganun pa yung kwento ni Orian ano? yun ang sinabi ni Bonifacio when I read that iisip ko pwede, pwede kang maging hero pero hindi, hindi naman kailangan kasundo mo yung other hero yes, yes, yes. Diba? and I think that also that's also a, a positive uh, uh, thing that should be considered, no? Uh, 
hindi naman nagdaan sa parang military academy ang ang mga bayani natin na dapat iisa lamang ang pagtingin sa lipunan ano iisang ugali nila iisa lang yung katangian nila no? we should also take efforts in in humanizing no our heroes hindi parang nasa pedestal na sila na parang hindi nagakamali hindi uh, hindi nagagalit hindi sumisimangot o ganun ano Um, and and that's uh, what uh, a lot of public historians have been doing. No? Um, we should bring the the heroes back to the people where they really uh, belong, no? uh, easily relatable, very human. No? Mm -hmm. At uh, may failings din ang mga ito, hindi mga perfect individuals ang mga ito. They were cer certainly not saints, no? at uh, mm -hmm. marami rin silang mga limitasyon um, nung sila ay nabubuhay. No? Yeah, so but, yung point nga, no? marami silang feelings. You know? uh, ang, ang gusto ko malaman, is there anything that uh, disqualifies them from being proclaimed a hero? Mm -mm. I think, again, no, if, if we go back to, to the idea that uh, a, a hero should be uh, somebody who contributed significantly to a larger number of people, kung um, nagbigay ka ng uh, pahira, pasakit, nahirapan yung mga tao, uh, nagkaroon ng pagdurusa because of what you did, then yun yung isang pangunahing disqualification uh, sa pagkabayani. No? Uh, pero kung halimbawa naman na uh, nagpakita ka lang ng uh, ugali na hindi sumasang-ayon sa iba, no? nayabangan sila o iba ang dating mo, Hindi yun tingin ko dapat maging consideration na hindi ka na dapat bayan. No? Um, it should be uh, based on um, your, the, the individual's contribution to a larger society. Uh, individual uh, personality concerns or uh, features um, should really not be a major consideration no? sa pagtulis. Uh -uh. The Francis. Yes. Is, uh, Marcos disqualified from ever being proclaimed a hero, even at a local level? Well, uh, may, again, no, technical yung ibang uh, turing dyan. Halimbawa, um, noong sa libingan ng mga bayani, kasi yung sabi, uh, naka, nakalagay naman sa batas, no, ano, What are the parameters no, for inclusion in the libingan ng mga bayani? Mm -hmm. uh, so former presidents and those who fought uh, as uh, members of the armed forces of the Philippines uh, mm -hmm. can be buried in the libingan ng mga bayani. So in that regard, pwede. No? Uh, pero alimbawa, pwede nating banggitin, no? uh, timbangin. Uh, nung siya ang namumuno, uh, ilan ba yung na kulong, na torture, na patay no, sa kanyang pamunuan. Mas marami bang nagdusa o yung, uh, ito naman napatunayan kahit sa mga korte, no, yung nakaw na yaman, uh, tinuring na ito ng Supreme Court, no, na ill-gotten wealth talaga, uh, nagbigay ito ng pahirap sa mga mamamayan, uh, nagkabaon-baon ang uh, lipunan sa ating Uh, sa mga utang uh, panlabas at panloob no? uh, at uh, even yung corruption of the moral fiber of our society no? um, malaking bagay yon doon sa dapat na uh, pagsusuring muli sa mga Marcos hindi lang kay Ferdinand no? so yung katanungan na kung local hero halimbawa popular siya sa mga Ilocano di ba mm -hmm. uh, ipoproklama ba na lokal na bayani no uh, kagaya ng ibang mga pangulo na halimbawa sa Bohol uh, pag birthday ni Carlos Garcia local holiday mga ganoong tipo no? pero muli uh, suriin natin ano um, sa pang pangkalahatang kalagayan mas marami bang paghihirap na idinulot kaysa ginhawa na idinulot no? uh, si Ferdinand Marcos. So, sa tingin ko, kahit sa para, pa, uh, pamamaraang panglokal, kailangan nating uh, maging mapagbantay kung dapat ba itong ituring na bayani. 
I, I really uh, like your emphasis on the open and the openness no, of the yeah. quote unquote process for choosing mm -hmm. heroes. It's, it's something that we need to continually ask ourselves. No? Uh, mm -hmm. kung may bago tayong sa isang dating Pangulo, halimbawa, um, halimbawa, very controversial, uh, J.P. Laurel, no? Presidente ng no, oh, Public Republic, no? uh, mm -hmm. consider him a hero and so on and so forth. So kung may bagong lumabas, di ba, mag, dapat magbago din yung pananaw natin. No? Um, pero sa panahon na there is so much disinformation, there is so much uh, network propaganda, um, how can we safeguard that process na uh -oh. talagang ebidensya ang uh, uh -oh. titingnan. Hindi lang yun kung mga gawa-gawa ng mga kung sino-sino pa natin ko. Kaya nga eh. Parang uh, pwede nating sabihin nga, um, kailangan i-clarify natin no, yung notion ng historical revisionism. Mm -hmm. uh, historical revisionism per se is not bad. What's bad is negative historical revisionism. No? The types of uh, uh, historical revisionism that distorts facts, uh, uh, provides or amplifies uh, illogical conclusions and illogical mm -hmm. interpretations to narratives, no? invents uh, narratives, or diminishes the roles of several significant individuals in specific periods in history, or whitewashes no? the, the crimes of individuals in, in uh, periods in history. No? So, his, hindi lang yan uh, negative historical revisionism, historical distortion na yan. Because, by and large, historians and the general public should always consider positive historical revisionism, yung tinatalakay mo nga kanina, no? kung may bagong ebidensya, may bagong natuklas ang dokumento na nagpapakita na ganito yung dapat na interpretasyon, dapat na ganito yung pagtingin. No? Ang, ang classic example niyan was Makario Sakai, no? who was regarded for a very long time, um, beginning with the American colonial period, right. as a bandit. No? Mm -hmm. uh, pero marami ng ebidensya at marami ng patunay na siya ay nakipaglaban kasama ang mga revolusyonaryo, nakipaglaban para sa bayan. So nawala na yung ganoong naratibo that he was a bandit and eventually he was considered a, a, a hero. No? Mm -hmm. So nagbabago ito. Pero dahil ito, tuon sa bagong, bagong uh, pananaw, bagong uh, tuklas ng mga datos, uh, new sources in history. Pero iba yung nag-invento ka ng facts, nag-distort ka ng facts, o gumawa ka ng illogical interpretations to uh, invented facts. No? Distortion ang tawag doon, negative historical revisionism yun. Or so, historical denialism, no? parang yes, yes. you are negating history. Oh, hindi nangyari yan. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Maraming, uh, uh, maraming manifestations yung historical distortion kasi. No? Uh, na, denial na, of that. Oh, Francis, napansin niyo ba noong Sunday, August 21, there was a lot uh, of uh, historical denialism about Nino Aquino's uh, assassination. Uh, yes. Ano doon yung mga motibo? Parang ganun. Una, una, ano, ano sa tingin mo? Doon? Ano, ano sa tingin mo ang, ang purpose ng ganong klaseng campaign? Well, una, uh, nung, nung Sunday talaga, naghintay ako at naghahanap no, nung mm -hmm. official government posts. No? Mm -hmm. Uh, nung mga institutions uh, that should be concerned about the uh, commemoration of national holidays. No? Mm -hmm. uh, yung National Commission for Culture and the Arts, may isa siyang parang mm -hmm. poster blurb regarding mm -hmm. Ninoy Aquino. Unfortunately, I was waiting for uh, the National Historical Commission. Uh, maaring mali ako na hindi ko talaga nakita uh, mm -hmm. anything about uh, Ninoy Aquino um, or the commemoration about the Ninoy Aquino Day, na officially legislated national holiday. Mm -hmm. uh, ang ginawa ng dun sa website ng National Historical Commission, uh, nag-share lang siya kung ano yung uh, pinost ng uh, NCCA. No? By the way, the National Historical Commission is directly under the office of the president. No? Uh, so, yun yung isang official uh, uh, 
what what can what we can consider as a part of uh, denialism no? mm -hmm. uh, parang uh, silencing uh, of uh, supposed important uh, event no or important personality in history pero may an official uh, side diyan ano yung mm -hmm. sa social media daming okay. naglapasan no na uh, not my hero or you mm -hmm. questioning uh, uh, August 21 and its significance and relevance in history or even um, coming up with ridiculous claims regarding the person regarding the event or regarding the circumstances that brought to the fore the, the idea of uh, Aquino martyrdom. Na kuminsan parang ha saan ito nang galing hindi hindi natin malaman ano um, uh, saan nagmumula but one thing is uh, can 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 be uh, ascertained or should be ascertained is whether it's organized and institutionalized no kasi parang mm -hmm. ang bilis ng sharing sa social media kasi isang click lang shared na agad it seemed to be more organized and institutional yeah. rather than spontaneous na may isang tao lang nagsabi ay hindi ako naniniwala diyan kasi uh, po, uh, parang paulit-ulit yung narrative it it uh, appeared to, to be uh, part of a script no uh, prepared already days ahead or even months ahead um uh, are we in danger of maybe five ten years down the road enshrining uh what we can call a false history yes uh <laughs> ang problema nga dyan, hindi ano eh baka hindi hindi na five or ten years from now it may be happening Mm -hmm. uh, as we speak at uh, lumalaganap ito no unfortunately historical historical instruction and historical education and 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 therefore historical consciousness uh, appear to be very low um, in the philippines no partially dahil walang philippine history sa secondary education no isa sa campaign nga pala uh, mm -hmm. na dinadala ng tanggol kasaysayan na dapat ibalik naman yung pag-aaral sa sa Philippine history as a, as a stand alone subject at least mm -hmm. in the secondary level kasi yung huling uh, subject na makukuha ng mga bata sa Philippine history ay grade 6 no unfortunately may may uh, kalalabas lamang na um, ulat tungkol sa uh, kalagayan ng edukasyon dito sa Pilipinas partikular doon sa kakayahan ng mga lit kakayahang pang literasiya ng mga bata no reading comprehension is very low so kung ganyan so mahirati ka na lang kumuha ng impormasyon sa YouTube o sa TikTok na mas accessible kaysa magbasa ka ng mga mahabang artikulo lalo na aklat sa kasaysayan no uh, so yun yung isang malaking problema so my, my fear is that it may not even be 5 or 10 years from now no parang uh, ngayon pa lang, no? halimbawa, nung nawala yung uh, tatlong bayani sa isan, isan libong piso, no? para mm -hmm. nawawala na ba tayo ng pagkilala kina Jose Fallanes Escoda, yung mga ganong tipo, no? Vicente mm -hmm. Lima, si Abad Santos, sa mahalagang kilalanin. Pero uh, I think hindi lang yung, yung um, 1,000 pesos. I think the target really is 500 pesos at yung mga tao na nandiyan. Mm -hmm. uh, 500 peso bill, yun yung pangunahing target. That's right. And changing the name of the airport. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, you know? uh, yan. Yeah. Oh. So, Francis, um, nabasa ko yung column ni Manolo Quezon today where he talk, talked about two kinds of histories, in the official history written up in the textbooks, uh, recognized by monuments and so on, and like a, a popular history, a popular uh, a, a history of uh, public memory. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, possibly ba na yung public memory uh, goes far ahead of official history? Mm -mm. Ba mangyari yun? Na yes. In, in the public mind, there's this person who is acclaimed as a hero even though the professional historians have not gotten around to actually 
you know, uh, uh, looking at the evidence. Yeah, there there appears to be a, a um, developing divide between academic historiography and uh, public history. No? Uh, at ito yung isang dapat na maging pangunahing concern din ng mga practicing historians. No? How to break that um, widening divide uh, and how to go to the other side. No? Um, uh, parang lahat tayo ngayon may obligasyon uh, to engage with the larger public. No? Mm -hmm. Of course, yung engagement natin sa four walls of our classroom, with our publications, with our conferences and webinars. Uh, nandyan na yan. Ano? Pero it can only go uh, that, uh, to a limited extent doon sa audience na, na, na aabot natin. We should uh, be able to reach the, the other side. Ano? Kasi nga yun nga sabi natin, um, ang laki ngayon itong nakikitang influence ng, ng uh, historical distortion through uh, and amplified by uh, social media platforms. No? TikTok, kalimbawa, or YouTube. Um, kaya, you know, equally important yung role ng public historians. No? Historians who are uh, trained and appreciative of uh, uh, the methodologies uh, of history, the scientific uh, ways of gathering data, establishing facts, and interpreting uh, narratives. Uh, at the same time, capable of relating with a larger audience. No? through uh, various uh, platforms. Kaya nga ako ngayon may TikTok account na rin. <laughs> Bukod dun sa iba. Kailangan, kasi kailangan talaga, no? napaka ng hamon sa atin at hindi tayo parang dapat magmumukmuk na lamang sa isang tabi na oh, uh, napag-iwanan na yung academic historiography. Yung, I, I don't want to call it official history kasi... Okay. Uh, wala tayo sa ganong realm eh. Uh, okay. Hindi tayo kagaya ng ibang mga bansa na pag sinabing ito lang yung lalamanin natin sa textbook, ito lang mm -hmm. yung monumento, ito lang yung official na kasaysayan. No. Um, mm -mm. Yung sa yung case of uh, General Antonio Luna, uh, would that be an example of public history outpacing academic history? Uh, Yung panahon ni Chidoro Agoncillo, I think he even told Ambeth Ocampo na why do we even consider him a hero? He didn't win a single oh. battle. No? In fact, he betrayed the Katipunan and of course he was tortured in the first phase of the revolution. Pero yung General Luna, the movie, I think crystallized many concepts, even Agoncillo's concepts of class uh, struggle and so on. In that one figure of Antonio Luna. So now, uh, you would you have a presidential candidate like Ping Lakson patterning himself after you know General Nang Bayan, kasi ang lakas ng dating, no? So yes. would that be an example na parang uh, uh, medyo na nauna yung image ni Luna yeah. because of that wonderful movie uh, mm -hmm. sa public history? Then what the available evidence uh, from historical mm -hmm. research shows? Pero pwede rin nating suriin ano yung uh, I'm I'm not really uh, privy to the details regarding the production of the movie pero ang pagkakaalam ko rin ibinatay ito nung uh, gumawa ng pelikula doon sa aklat din no isang uh, aklat na sinulat ni Vivencio Jose uh, mm -hmm. tungkol sa biography ni Luna no mm -hmm. so parang meron din namang pinagbatayan na um uh, pag-aaral, pangkasaysayan, at uh, yung pelikula nga, parang translation of that uh, academic work into something like uh, uh, accessible to the public through uh, movie production. At yung amplification nito, siguro yung uh, dapat nating suriin. Ano? Uh, bakit uh, naging popular yung General Luna at bakit maraming sumasakay dyan, ano We can also look at for example, uh, the uh, levels of uh, frustration of the general public, insofar mm -hmm. as the promise of you know nation construction is concerned, no? Mm -hmm. um, na hindi lamang nung panahon ng himagsika, no? Kasi halos 
uh, maraming regimen na tayong pinagdaanan. No? Uh, mm -hmm. Nagsasabing this nation can be great again, pero anong nangyari? No? Uh, so, yun, doon sa pasakay. No? Yeah. To be completely fair to Antonio Luna, uh, uh, we have the testimony of you know people like uh, Jose Alejandrino, no? also a general no? uh, in, the, in the revolution. Uh, he were, Luna was really the best general we ever had in the revolution. No? Uh, uh, you know he shaped, uh, he whipped it, he whipped the army into shape, and, and you know, tapos may fortifications na ginawa and so. Yeah. so and so, even the the Americ the American. Uh, uh, official dom, no? uh, particularly mm -hmm. military officers, regarded Luna as a brilliant military tactician. Sila, yeah. Sa kanila nang galing din yung ganong evaluation. Mm -hmm. eh. uh, na nahirapan sila at uh, uh, napatagal yung uh, advance nila to the north because of uh, somebody like uh, Antonio Luna. No? So Francis, ang haba ng pasakali ko. No? Ang dami na <laughs> we're laying the groundwork. Uh, well, mm -hmm. uh, now I can ask the question: Is, in your view, Nino Aquino a hero? Yes, uh, definitely. No, um, marami alimbawa kagaya din ni Rizal. No, marami ring nag nangyari uh, dun sa pagkamatay ni Nino. Eh, no, um, yung 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 heroism kasi hindi lamang um, when when the person was alive. No. Even uh, because of one's death, no, that contributed significantly to uh, uh, popular consciousness, general awakening, um, um, restoration of democratic values. No? Um, naniniwala ako at uh, nasa kolehiyo na kasi ako noon, no, nung napatay si Ninoy Aquino, yung panawagan talaga na jaja, no? justice for Aquino, justice for all. Ibig sabihin ito, Ang lawak, no? um, ito na yung pinakagarapalan na uh, pagpatay, harap-harapan, uh, walang uh, pakundangan. Uh, para ang sinasabi, ang dami ng uh, naunang namatay uh, sa kanya at galit na ang mga tao. Pero ito na yung pinakarurok ng galit no? na uh, namulat yung mga tao na pukaw doon sa karahasan na nagaganap sa sa ating bayan and the image uh, created by um, not only the long lines in Santo Domingo Church no pero yung mm -hmm. funeral procession that lasted more than 10 hours no? mm -hmm. really uh, uh, cemented to the popular uh, consciousness uh, the brutality of the dictatorship and the need uh, for democratic action so doon pa lamang sa pagkamatay niya no at yung contribution na mamulat yung nakararaming mamamayan no um, kabayanihan na yon no kagaya halimbawa nung pagbaril kay Jose Rizal sa Luneta maraming nagsasabi na ah, uh, may limitasyon naman yung kanyang buhay pero yung pagkamatay niya mismo yung isa sa mga sparks uh, that contributed to uh, the awakening of a larger number of people. And I think in a similar vein, ganun din dapat yung pagtingin kay Ninoy Aquino at yung kanyang kabayanihan. Yeah, uh, the funeral on August 31, 1983, uh, the largest in our history. Sabi yes. The press, maybe 2 million. I, I don't know about you, but I was also there. No? I was part of the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. huge crowd. Uh, talaga, sa tingin ko nga, Siguro more than 2 million pa dami talaga. Yes. Tao. So parang And considering public considering, considering during that time, no, uh, the Philippine population just was just half of what we have right now. That's right. Very That's significant right. yung 2 million. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So Francis, uh, we're running long but I still have a couple of questions, no? They're more much more practical uh, in nature. I agree with you. Nina Aquino is a hero. Uh, but the official silence from Malacanang last Sunday, coupled with the unofficial but organized campaign to demean him, okay, okay uh, suggests that there are things that the state can do to minimize the stature of a hero. So yun yung second to the last question ko. What should we watch out for? Ano ang pwedeng gawin ng Marcos administration that will Sadly, 
but surely uh, degrade the status of Ninoy Aquino as hero. Actually, uh, nangyayari na, no? Um, alimbawa, yung, yung, yung proposal to change uh, the international airport from Ninoy Aquino to Ferdinand Marcos International Airport. Or kahit nagawing Manila International Airport. No? Ibig sabihin, um, hindi na significant yung tarmac no? uh, mm -hmm. where he was uh, assassinated. Hindi na significant yung August 21. And therefore, the demo democracy movement that uh, expanded as a result of that no uh, also became will become uh, insignificant the other danger na pwede nating makita yung uh, dahil yung Ninoy Aquino Day was a um, uh, uh, legislated national mm -hmm. holiday mm -hmm. uh, with this administration's control of or influence to uh, the legislature, madaling magsabatas ng panibago. Tulad nga nung nasabi ko, di ba? Yung national holidays natin, bunga ng mga batas. No? At uh, kapag may bagong batas, nagsasabing wala ng visa yung nauna, uh, yun, yung uh, bagong batas yung susundin. So madaling mag-legislate niya. Ano? O kaya yung, uh, again, no? Um, Heroism can own, also be found in, in uh, uh, public monuments, in parks, or in materials like uh, 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 500 peso bills. Madaling sabihin, ah, kasi nagbago na nga yung 1,000, so there's really no uh, reason preventing us na baguhin na rin yung ibang peso denomination, including 500 uh, pesos at yung imagery ng mga nandiyan, mm -hmm. no? Uh, so, andyan yung uh, uh, panganib. Hindi lamang doon sa, eh, kasi ang uh, Department of Education ang siyang mandated naman talaga na magpakalat ng mga teksto sa kasaysayan. No? Alam naman natin kung sino yung uh, nakaupo sa DepEd ngayon no? o sa, sa CHED ngayon. Ano? Hindi naman sila uh, nagsasabi na uh, dapat kilalanin si Ninoy Aquino na mambansang bayani. Diba? Uh, so, hindi lang yung, yung, yung pagiging tahimik ay isang hakbang na yan. Ano? Sa tingin ko, uh, na maaring uh, sumunod ay yung uh, pagsasalita na hindi na talaga officially uh, yeah. na pamamagitan ng state institutions no? like the National Historical Commission, NCCA, uh, Department of Education, National Museum even. No? Uh, so all of these things. It, I remember in 2011, Social Weather Stations ran a survey asking people, you know, who are uh, Philippine heroes, no? Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, this was for the 150th an birth anniversary of Rizal. No surprise, mm -hmm. you know, Rizal, I think three-fourths of Filipinos said, you know, Rizal yes. was a national hero. I think something like, I, I don't know the exact numbers now, but something like half of the respondents, mga 49% said Bonifacio, uh, mm -hmm. also here. and I think about 25% said Ninoy Aquino. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did not realize that 2004 nga pala yung Republic Act that uh, turned his death day, his uh, death anniversary into a holiday. So it might have something to do with that also. No? Uh, mm -hmm. It's been a holiday for, by, by, at, by 2011, uh, you know, by seven years. So baka nandun din. Um, Dr. Antis, last question again on a practical note. No, uh, what what can the public do to uh, help make sure that the stature of a hero like Amina Aquino uh, is maintained? What what can we do to, um, yeah, uh, you know, to recognize and promote uh, his heroism? Mm -mm. I think yeah, you know, patu patuloy lang dun sa kampanya, no. Uh, uh, ano yung basis nung kabayanihan? Ano? Uh, despite uh, attempts, official and unofficial, to uh, downgrade the heroism of Ninoy Aquino, we should always bear in mind ano yung batayan ng pagkabayani no? uh, ng isang tao. Babalik tayo doon sa conceptualization. Eh, no? uh, una, uh, nabanggit ko na ito sa pasimula, uh, may kaugnayan yung bayani at kabayanihan dun sa salitang ugat nito na bayan. 
no? Mm-hmm. Kung wala ang bayan, wala yung bayani. At kawawa naman yung bayan na naghahanap ng bayani, no? Pero isa pa, may kung I was looking at old um, dictionaries, no, uh, 19th or even 18th century, mm-hmm. na kung kailan unang lumabas yung konsepto ng bayani, no? At yung bayani, um, hindi yung kagaya, hindi lamang yung kagaya nung uh, dinadakila, may monumento, may mga institusyong nakapangalan sa kanya at pinagdiriwang yung kanyang araw. No? In the old uh, dictionaries, makikita sino yung bayani. Ito yung, di ba, kaya nga may konsepto tayo ng bayanihan. No? Particularly in rural societies, pag sinasabing nagpapakabayani ka, you offer your services you offer your uh, loyalty, you offer your commitment to a larger public. No? Mm-hmm. Alimbawa, kahit, mula dun sa simpleng eh, panahon ng anihan, yung kasama mo sa bukid, eh, kailangang uh, tulungan sa kanyang pag-aani, makikiani ka rin. No? Uh, mm-hmm. Na hindi uh, umaasa ng anumang kapalit na material. Yun yung bayani. Kaya sinabi, mm-hmm. ah, magtrabaho kang bayani, ibig sabihin, mm-hmm. Uh, hindi ka umaasa na may material material na kapalit dito mm-hmm. no? at kailangan nating balikan ito no? mm-hmm. na yung pagkabayani ay yung tao na nag-aalay ng sarili nag-aalay ng uh, uh, kakayahan nag-aalay, nag-aalay ng buhay uh, para sa higit na nakararami at kailangan nating patupatuloy na ipaliwanag at balikan ito no yung konsepto ng kabayanihan yung konsepto ng bayanihan para na talaga makilala natin ano ba talaga yung pagkabayani hindi yung dapat na ah in my opinion ganito ang pagkabayani o ay alam mo naging hero yan dahil na chismis lang na ganyan ano uh, so kailangan nating balik-balikan nakaugat naman sa ating lipunan eh ano yung konsepto ng pagkabayani? At kung gayon, madali nang maipapaliwanag sa higit na maraming publiko na um, yung, yung kabayanihan at yung kabayanihan ng mga partikular na tao gaya ni Ninoy Aquino na dapat uh, matanggap at uh, lumawak dun sa pagkilala na nag-alay ito ng buhay at nagbigay ito ng kamulatan sa nakararaming mga mamamayan sa mga partikular na henerasyong nakikipaglaban tayo sa para sa kalayaan at demokrasya ng mga mamamayan. Ganda, nakaugat sa lipunan, sa ating lipunan, sa, sa ating lingwahe, no? sa ating mga salita. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we've run out of time. No? Uh, Professor Francis Gialogo, uh, Thank you for your time, your insights, and your work with Pangol Kasaysayan that helps define and expand the public square. Thank you. Salamat. Like Rizal, we remember Nino Aquino, especially because of the last 10 years of his life. Seven years in prison and three years in exile changed him. We might even say purified him and prepared him for heroism. He is a hero because he was a martyr. His last 10 years prepared him for martyrdom. That's it for us tonight. The next step for engaged citizens is always to take a more active part in rebuilding our democracy. See you in the public square. This is John Neri. Thank you and good night. Thank you.